Hello again, Privileged Ones, and welcome to Draw of VPG. I'm VPG, or Violent Privilege Gaming, from my main channel. I'll link my main channel down in the description of this video, so you can go and check it out. This is going to be the very first video to this channel where I'm actually doing art and drawing, doing some concept sketches, and also making a YouTube banner on Photoshop for Rifle Gaming. Now, if you don't know who Rifle Gaming is, if you watch my main channel, uh, mostly Destiny content, Rifle Gaming is another really big Destiny YouTuber with almost 500,000 subscribers, so it's actually a really big honor to be friends with Rifle Gaming and work on a channel banner for him. So we're going to be putting it up on this channel, kind of showing it off. I'll also put a little video up on my main channel to talk about it and link to this channel. So if you've actually come here from my main channel, thank you guys so much. Um, check out my main channel in the description, as I said before, but we're going to get into designing a channel banner for YouTube for Rifle Gaming, and what the design concept is, is a Jester holding a No Land Beyond sniper rifle from Destiny. The Jester or Joker style character is going to be having a serious type look on his face. Out of the barrel of the No Land Beyond is going to be a flag that says bang. And then it's going to say, join the insanity on the banner. And that's going to be Rifle Gaming's new banner. So we're going to take this to paper. We're going to draw up a couple mock sketches of kind of what I would like the characters to kind of position themselves in. If they're going to be aiming it, if they're just going to be looking up um, with the No Land Beyond. And from there, we'll go into the final product and then take it to Photoshop. And we're going to put all of that in this video today. So enjoy. So to start with any good design going into Procreate or into any digital media like Photoshop, you kind of want an idea of your structured picture. So I decided to do a sketch up of the character's design and overall design. I also did a sketch up of the No Land Beyond sniper rifle from Destiny to get an idea of the line structure and how it was going to draw the No Land Beyond in its final product. Then I did a character sketch up of a character laying down and holding the sniper and I didn't really like it that much so I decided to go with the final one standing up and just holding up the No Land Beyond aiming down the sights. Now this gesture character I finally did a final sketch and ended up getting that to be my line weights in the Procreate app. So YouTube, I hope you're enjoying it so far, but um, we have a lot more to do. We have the basic line work done, the basic concept done. But there's still a lot more drawing and a lot more uh, coloring to do, basically, on this. So what we've done is we've taken this image, which is basically a jester kind of guy holding a No Land Beyond, firing it, and it's going to have a flag coming out of it saying, bang, underneath that gun, right in the middle of the banner, it will say, join the insanity, which is what the words that Rifle Gaming came up with and what he wanted. Alongside that, I've given him kind of a rough concept of the Traveler in the background if he wants that, just to kind of reference Destiny a little bit more. We can actually remove the Traveler completely and change the background completely, but right now, I'm just going to get a basic concept going and we're going to finalize the character the no land and the flag coming out of the no land and then everything else is going to be changed around until rifle gaming is happy with it so we're going to screen capture this what happened is i scanned the image onto my computer sent it over to twitter then i saved it onto my ipad and now we're going to be using an app called procreate and we're going to be using the new stylus that we got in the mail the Jot Touch. Um, this is the Jot Touch uh, pixel point. Basically it's got um, pressure sensitivity, it's got the button to erase and the button to undo. Um, so basically we can erase, we can undo, we can go back. There's pretty easy commands on here alongside having pressure sensitivity which is going to be key to the entire creation of this image. So we're going to time lapse the whole thing um, straight on the iPad itself. We're going to record video and I hope you all enjoy so let's get to work. So moving into digital media is where the character design became really fun. So we scanned the image that I drew on paper into my computer, transferred it over to my iPad, and from my iPad we ended up putting it into Procreate, an app for and designed for drawing. 
And then from there, we took that image and grayscaled it down with the opacity levels really low. And then we redrew over those lines, redefining some sections and allowing for the line weights to variate throughout the piece, depending on what area I was in. And then from there, the line work was done. So we ended up getting to go into color and we ended up filling up each area with flat colors. Those flat colors were gonna be redefined later with shadowing and also cross stitching with some darker lines. And we redefined certain areas of the character with different line variations again, and then adding in the touch to the ear, adding in lighting on the No Land Beyond's metal. And then we also ended up taking a very opaque brush and laying in wet paint. And that wet paint is really good for blending in for shadowing. And we ended up shadowing in every single section after filling in the variating shadows that were gonna be available throughout the piece, then finalizing the No Land Beyond's in-depth shadowing and going in through the entire piece and redefining certain areas. All the gray parts for the flats were then made and designed to look like black fabric. That way the jester was red and black and the variating grays were pretty much the lighter portions of the material of the clothing. From there we finalized the skin and kind of faded out a little bit of the hairs on his arm. And then from there we finished up some final touches, kind of giving that detail in the character itself to kind of make him look a little bit more realistic alongside that no land with a lot of depth and in-depth detail and at the final last section of this piece we ended up adding wood grain to the no land beyond and finalizing that piece entirely so privileged ones the banner is on the screen now fully completed from procreate over to photoshop what we did with the banner was once we got the gesture done in procreate i sent it over to my email i took up um from my email and then I put it into Photoshop, removed the white background, put a trials background, and then I wrote in join the insanity, changed a little bit of that lettering so there was a accented background of white, a dark bold line of black, and then another bold line of some faded out, really bright to faded out red um, behind the lettering to kind of match the jester's clothing. And then from there, I took a uh, PNG image of bang with a flash behind it, shrunk it down, put it onto the flag, and then made it look like it was a part of the flag. From there, I ended up putting some cool lighting effects and some shadowing behind the jester and the No Land Beyond, and this is the banner that we got. So, if you enjoyed this entire process of my sketch markups over to the scanner, into my iPad from Procreate, and then editing it on the Procreate and then taking it over to Photoshop. If that's something that you want to see in the future, I will have more content like this up in the future alongside paintings, sketches, markers, um, just standard graphite drawings, uh, standard markups in Photoshop only, some more stuff done in the Procreate app in the future, some marker challenges, painting challenges. We're going to have a ton of stuff on this channel. This is the very first video and it was really cool that I was able to collaborate with Rifle Gaming for this. So if you want to check out Rifle Gaming's channel, he's probably using this banner right now. You can go and check out his channel. Link is in the description of this video. Alongside that, if you play Destiny, he has been carrying people trials flawless for free. So you might want to get a hold of him on his Twitter. I'll also link his Twitter in the description of this video as well because going to see him instead of paying anywhere from $10 to $100 to go trials flawless is going to be well worth it for all of you because I think it's messed up that people are charging other people to carry them flawless when there's people out there that are right-minded and are actually doing it for free. So there you have it. That's all the uh, video has for you today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And again, if you enjoyed it, just hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel down below if you enjoyed it. Also, um, really quick, if you press that logo, you'll actually be able to subscribe to the channel. And if you press any of the two videos down below, then you will uh, be able to go to my main channel or the daily vlog channel. And that's something that you might enjoy. So go and check those two videos out. And as always, stay violent, be privileged. We'll see you all in the next episode.